Hello, I'm Dr. Israel Barkin. I'm the medical director of the Prostate Cancer Research and Education Foundation. I'm going to discuss an article that was brought on Ask Dr. Barkin Call-In Show. Ask Dr. Barkin Call-In Show is every Tuesday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. And to join, you could dial in by using the following number, 1-877-727-3301. Let's go now and discuss the article. The name of the article is System Pathology Approach for the Prediction of Prostate Cancer Progression of the Radical Prostatectomy. This was published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology, Volume 26, page 3923, in 2008. This is the publication of the American Society of Clinical Oncology. The article was written by Dr. Michael Donovan from Orion Laboratories in New York and by other researchers like Dr. Peter Scardino from Memorial Sloan Kettering and also from Columbia University. And this study will be discussed. Let's go now to the abstract. The purpose. For patients that are treated with radical prostatectomy, there is no good predictor, there are no good tools to tell you about when the patient will have clinical failure. Clinical failure defined as metastasis or androgen-independent disease. The tool was developed by the Oren Laboratory and they are using clinical pathologic data with image analysis, with quantitative immunofluorescence techniques on the prostatic cancer tissue. Patients and methods. The study was designed, was applied retrospectively on 758 patients with clinically localized or locally advanced prostate cancer. A model predicting distant metastasis and or androgen independent recurrence was derived from features selected through supervised multivariate learning. The results. They developed a predictive model using a training set of 373 patients with 33 clinical failure events. The model included androgen receptor AR levels, included dominant Gleason score from the prostatectomy specimen, included lymph nodes involvement, and free quantitative characteristics from hematoxylin eosin. This is the staining for the pathology, staining of the tissue. 358 patients with 29 events yielded a CI of 0.4. CI stands for concordance index. Sensitivity of 84% and specificity of 85%. High levels of AR, androgen receptor, predict a shorter time to become hormone refractory disease after androgen deprivation. That means that the finding high level of AR predicted shorter time to find castrate prostate specific antigen increase after there were castrate level of testosterone. The conclusion, let's go now to the conclusion. The integration of clinical pathological variables with imaging and biomarker data, we define this combination as system pathology, resulted in high accurate tool for predicting clinical failure within five years after radical prostatectomy. The data support a role for androgen receptor signaling in clinical progression and duration of response to androgen deprivation treatment. Thank you for listening. I hope you join us and listen to Ask Dr. Barkin call-in show. If you missed the call, you could get on the homepage of our website, www.pcref.org. You could download previous shows. You could also join us during the show by using a link to audio streaming of the show live. Thank you. Take care. Goodbye.